Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And this is my second video of, um, like, uh, you know when I did that video with uh, Dean Ambrose and John Moxley, who was better? So this is this video. It, it's the same person, but it's the same gimmick. The, well, it's not the same gimmick, but this is, um. Kind of like before he turned fate, before he turned heel, and this is before when he turned heel. The um the past Roman Reigns and the the modern day Roman Reigns. What was better? I'm about to go in a whole rant. You're like just like the whole Dean Ambrose and John Moxley video. I'm about to go in a whole rant right now. But when I first heard of Roman Reigns, he was in the Shield. He was in the Shield and all that stuff. And then Roman Reigns uh was in the Royal Rumble and uh, ev uh, everybody was hyping him hyping uh him to win the Royal Rumble instead of Batista. But Batista still won the Royal Rumble and went to fight Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. And then the next year we seen Roman Reigns oh well, well then well the year well after WrestleMania and after uh, Extreme Rules and all that stuff, we seen, I mean, and Payback, we seen Seth Rollins turn on him. We seen Seth Rollins turn on Roman Reigns, and after that, Roman didn't do shit. Roman was like, "Man, fuck that! Like, uh, like I don't got no part of this." Dean Ambrose was fighting, basically fighting for, um. Fighting for you, like he was fighting for you. Dean Ambrose was fighting for you. He was the only he was the only one that was trying to that was fighting Seth Rollins. Roman Reigns said, "Oh fuck this, fuck this. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a top guy. I'm gonna be um Smiley McLaser tag and be my own shit instead of looking for revenge from Seth Rollins after Seth Rollins viciously attacked the um uh the Shield." Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns on Monday Night Raw. He ain't do shit. He ain't do shit about it. Then the Royal Rumble. Oh boy, I'm not gonna lie. I was advocating for Roman Reigns to win the Royal Rumble, and and 27 and 2015. Now I didn't watch the show. I didn't watch the show. I went. I after the um the, the show. I looked at. Uh, like WWE Network, uh, on my cousin's phone, on my big cousin's phone, and when how that whole Royal Rumble, uh, pay per view was set up was fucking stupid. The the Royal Rumble itself was fucking retarded. The only match that was good on this show was Seth Rollins, uh, John Cena, and Brock Lesnar. That was the only match that was good on this show. Or the only match I cared about. But the Royal Rumble was... How it was booked was fucking retarded. We had freaking... Roman, we had Kane and Big Show dominating the uh, the Royal Rumble. Like, they're not even hiding the fact that uh, Roman Reigns is going to win the, the Royal Rumble. At least... Give the illusion that somebody else is going to win. Like Dolph Ziggler, Daniel Bryan, Dean Ambrose or somebody... No, you just you just say, oh fuck it, we I, I don't care what what we do, as long as Roman Reigns win. And I looked at my cousin right when he was showing me what happened. I was like, that's fucking stupid. That that was stupid. That was stupid. And he said, no nah, man, Roman Reigns the shit. Roman Reigns is the best. Like Roman Reigns gonna beat Brock Lesnar's ass. And I looked at him. Now again, that shit was stupid. Like I'm sorry, that. Ro that Royal Rumble was fucking retarded. And fuck Daniel Bryan. I didn't give a fuck about Daniel Bryan at this time. Now I love Daniel Bryan. I love Daniel Bryan. Should, should I think he should have won the Royal Rumble? No. No. We could have done, like, no. no. Honestly, it, like, how it was set up, how the Royal Rumble was set up was stupid. I didn't mind Royal Rumble winning, but how. The match was set up was stupid. Even The Rock looked pissed. Even The Rock looked pissed. 
Then he went he went uh to War on he um he uh went to WrestleMania, put on one of the best matches of WrestleMania at WrestleMania 30, at WrestleMania uh what was it called? WrestleMania thirty one. And it was it wasn't a bad match. It wasn't a bad match. Even though it, even if Seth Rollins didn't cash in, it would it would have still been a, a good match. And then this is his downfall. Um, having matches with Bray Wyatt and all that stuff, doing all this shit, putting him in the main event title scene. I didn't and even though I didn't mind him. I did not mind him winning the freaking uh the champ. I didn't mind him winning that uh Survivor Series, uh, winning at Survivor Series when he won that WWE championship. Then they had Shane uh Seamus ca- uh freaking uh come in. We had Seamus come in and freaking bro kick him one two three took the championship. Then uh on Monday Night Raw we seen uh Shane uh freaking um uh uh well at TLC we had a uh TLC I think yes it was a TLC match. The uh, League of Nations got involved and caused Roman Reigns the championship. Now this, now after the match, this was actually fucking good. When Roman Reigns after the, after the match, when Roman Reigns got uh um freaking caused by the Nexus, Nexus, by the League of Nations. No wonder I call them the Nexus because they buried the Nexus. Like uh, yo. Know, then we seen Roman Reigns go ballistic. We seen Roman Reigns go ballistic on the authority on Triple H. That's what I like. This is the Roman Reigns that I wanted. This was the Roman Reigns that I wanted. The the guy that go ballistic. The man that Stone Cold. Make him a modern day Stone Cold. But they didn't. They watered down the storyline. And I like the, the the beat down with um Batista with Batista. Triple H and Roman Reigns when Roman Reigns' uh, face was bloody and all that stuff. I like that beat down. And when, but they watered down the story. They start watering down the story. They had him going and they had him win the uh, championship back. Uh, from Sheamus, they had him win the championship back from Sheamus on Monday Night Raw, going to the Royal Rumble, and have him uh freaking have him go up against. 29 other men for this for that championship. Triple H that won the Royal Rumble and winning the WWE Championship. Then this is when they just went downhill. They watered down the storyline. They they watered it down, and then we got a mediocre match at WrestleMania. Triple H and and Brock Triple H and Roman Reigns was a it was. It was it was a bad match. It was a bad match. The whole show was bad, but this match was worse. This match was worse. Roman Reigns won the uh, WWE Championship. I lie to you not. When AJ Styles, when AJ Styles came out, and he was number one contender for the WWE Championship at Payback. I was advocating for for Roman Reigns to lose the championship from AJ Styles. I got tired of Roman Reigns. I didn't hate him, but I I got tired of Roman Reigns. I didn't hate him like everybody else hated him, but I was tired of Roman Reigns. I wanted AJ Styles to be the champion. And then at Extreme Rules, we seen Seth Rollins came back, and we seen Seth Rollins won the championship at Money in the Bank, and then and then Dean Ambrose ended up catching in on. And Dean Ambrose ended up catching in on Seth Rollins. Then we end up getting a triple threat match at freaking Battleground. This match should have been at SummerSlam. This match should have been at either at either at SummerSlam or WrestleMania. Why is this match taking place on a battleground? And I was at Battleground. It was in Washington, DC. I was at Battleground. Dean Ambrose retained the championship. Then we seen Roman Reigns beefing with uh with Rusev. Good lord. Um for the United States Championship, he won the uh, United States Championship from Rusev. Then he dropped the championship back. He dropped the championship to Chris Jericho. Then he had this mediocre feud with Kevin Owens. Then we seen Braun Strowman get involved. Then we see uh, him eliminate Undertaker and have a feud with Undertaker and uh, have a feud with Undertaker. And he beat Undertaker at WrestleMania in a one of the most 
the worst match in WrestleMania history. One of the worst matches in WrestleMania history. He beat him. And we've seen Braun Strowman beat the shit out of Roman Reigns on the next night. This was the... They should have turned Roman Reigns heel. They should have turned Roman Reigns heel or the next night on Monday Night Raw. If you was going to have him beat The Undertaker, why not have him turn heel? But they didn't. All he said was, this is my yard now. Walked away, got, got the shit beat out of him. Uh, Braun Strowman uh, beat the shit out of uh, Roman Reigns. Came back. He came back from an injury on payback. Payback. And he lost. And I was so happy when Braun Strowman won. I loved it. I love when Braun Strowman won. Because I was sick and tired of Braun Strowman. I was sick and tired of Roman Reigns. How he was getting booked. He was booked like a like a corporate suck up. Then, the Fatal Five Way match. What do you want me to say? That's I, I guess what you want me to. What do you want me to say? Then he had this match with, Dan with freaking uh, with uh, uh, with Braun Strowman and the ambulance match. I thought it was gonna happen at Extreme Rules. And speaking of Extreme Rules, I was at Extreme Rules, and uh, Roman Reigns. Lost by Braun Strowman when he tried to hit a spear and he ended up get um getting literally he ended up literally doing a he he like literally flew into the freaking um the ambulance. Roman Reigns put him put Braun Strowman in the ambulance and freaking crashed the um the ambulance. Now that that's what I like. That is a a sadistic side of Roman Reigns. They should have turned him here right there too. They could have turned him here right there, but no. He had a um, fatal four way match at SummerSlam. Then he had a okay match with John Cena. Then they had this man. Then they had this man win the elimination chamber. I think Braun Strowman should have won the elimination chamber. Braun Strowman should have won the elimination chamber and fight Roman, fight Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. I wouldn't have did the triple threat match at um. At the World Rumble with Braun Strowman, Brock Lesnar, and Kane, I would have did something else. I wouldn't even have Braun Strowman fight Brock Lesnar at No Mercy. I would have saved that match for WrestleMania. He, like, that, that's what they could have did. Or, or, have Roman Reigns go into uh, WrestleMania in a cage match. Have... Uh, freaking um, we see the um Usos get involved. We we see the Usos get involved, and we see Paul Heyman turn on turn on uh Brock Lesnar. We see Paul Heyman turn on Brock Lesnar. That's how I would have booked him, as a heel and uh do the passionate heel promo on Raw. But no. No, they didn't do that. They had him lose to Brock Lesnar. And they had him just lose. They had him win against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam in a mediocre match against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. 2018 is when he announced his leukemia. And I, look, this is what I'm saying. I don't hate the, the actual person. I didn't, I hated the booking of Roman Reigns. And I felt sorry for him. I, didn't know he was going through this. Then he was away. He came back, fought Drew in a mediocre match. And he had a feud with Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre the next um the next few um months. And he had a feud with Baron Corbin. And after and after Goldberg beat um the Fiend, he just said, "I'm next." Didn't win the Elimination Chamber or anything. I'm next. Then COVID hit. Went away. So I'm done with this side of I'm done. I'm done with this side of Roman Reigns. 
Now let's get into this side of Roman Reigns. So Roman Reigns attacked the Fiend, tagged Braun Strowman at SummerSlam, laid both of them out, and at Payback, he got out the last minute after Braun Strowman and the Fiend broke the ring. And he beat both of the asses. He had this good feud with Jey Uso. Had this good run as the Tribal Chief. Alongside Paul Heyman. Had a good feud with Kevin Owens. Daniel Bryan. Now he got, now he started a feud with Daniel Bryan. He cast, he, um, after Daniel Bryan won the Nation Chamber, he... Um, capitalized on the opportunity and won. And now he will be in the triple threat match at WrestleMania against Daniel Bryan, Edge, and Roman Reigns. So, who is better? The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief. The Tribal Chief was better. I'm sorry. It was... This Roman Reigns right here fucking sucked. I'm sorry, but he sucked. This Roman Reigns, and um, a lot of people think he was uh, he was worthy to be champion with this. But this one, but this Roman Reigns is a, is the essence of what a champion should be booked. How a champion should be booked. This no. This yes. So I think the Tribal Chief was better. I know the Tribal Chief was better. When he came in in 2020, in a pandemic, with, this, with the greatest run of his career, we have been asking for this for a long time. We have been asking for this. But they didn't give it to us. And look what he's doing now. Good things. And I hope he keeps that championship for another year. I hope he keeps that Universal Championship for another year. That Universal Championship was drowning, was drowning in relevancy. But when he brought it back up, when he won that championship from The Fiend, he made the championship one of the most prestigious championships in the industry today. The, the championship uh, design sucked. But he made the championship one of the greatest championships in history. So I think the Tribal Chief won. I know the Tribal Chief won. The Tribal Chief gimmick won. Give me your thoughts. Who won? The big dog, Roman Reigns, or the Tribal Chief? Give me your thoughts. It, well, I I know y'all gonna pick him because I know y'all gonna pick the Tribal Chief because y'all a lot of y'all are not stupid, you know what I'm saying? So I know you're gonna pick the Tribal Chief, but give me your thoughts down below, seriously. But um, on a serious note, give me your um my, your thoughts down below. P um, turn on notifications, turn on notifications, and and uh, so you can uh be the first person to uh to get to uh, be notified for any of my videos when they come when the oh Jesus Christ so you can be the first person to be notified for my videos as soon as they come out I see I will see you guys next time peace out tongue tied Jesus Christ but I hope y'all have fun in the comments to um I hope y'all stay safe out there see you guys next time